Okay, we're on. Hi, Gage. Hello. Okay, so we are decluttering. Mm -hmm. We have been at this how long? Quite a while. We have started, uh, we started decluttering three years ago? About, or is it two and a half? About two and a half. Two and a half years ago. And somewhere along the way, I coined the term extreme sport decluttering because that's how Gage and I, this is Gage, by the way. Gage is my assistant. And normally, we like to be in the kitchen making food, yes? Usually, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, how can you focus on making food or doing whatever it is that you set out to do um, if you're constantly bothered by things that are out of place or things that don't belong in your home or, you know, just... Right? Mm -hmm. Name some of the things. Uh, the juicers, for one. Well, the juicers are sitting here on my on my laundry machines, and I thought, what if I want to fold laundry? So if I'm not using all of the juicers right now, I need to put them away. And the juicers, for one, it could be, it's been a, a myriad of things that mm -hmm. we have. Yeah. What have you learned from the, this experience? Essentials. Just the essentials. Mm -hmm. And do you see how we're living here um, is different than other people. Definitely. Like, how do you feel when you go into other people's homes when there's clutter? Everything laying everywhere. Things that just don't need to be there. Yeah. And what does it feel like? It feels sluggish. It feels yeah. depressing. It feels depressing, right? Mm -hmm. And then how can that not affect the inhabitants of the home, right? Mm -hmm. Do you, Can you see a correlation between people who hold on and people who let go? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You can definitely see it. Because in the past two and a half years, Gage has seen the magic that's happened in my life, right? Mm -hmm. So along with eating a clean diet, which you participate in when you're here, and mm -hmm. usually Gage is really clean when he's not here, but we step it up a, a notch for him when he's here. I just I feed him things like that. You know what that is? Do you know what's in there? It's insane. I had to list everything. I saw banana and chia seeds go in there. Well, definitely banana and chia seeds to make it creamy and sweet, and, this, and the chia seeds give us protein essential fatty acids, edge, Gage is an athlete, so he likes that extra protein. Mm -hmm. I put in pine pollen for protein. I put in chlorella. I put in metamorphosis uh, green powder from Elemental Wisdom. I put in frozen cherries, frozen uh, cranberries, raspberries. It's got a lot of vitamin C. I put in amla, which is an Ayurvedic herb, and I put in vanilla, it's power packed. Did you try it? I haven't tried it yet. Okay. So here's the thing. We want to put in amazing nutrients and put in the best things, but we need to declutter and detoxify our bodies, and we need to declutter and detoxify our homes to support our new bodies. They go together, and that's really what we've been practicing. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. This is it. We're at the tail end. This is like, this is like, now we get to focus on recipes and food and all the good things that I'm intending to do, which is change the world and let people know that food is our medicine and that what we, how we live, what we put into our bodies, what we take out, what we put into our homes, what we take out makes a difference to have the most sparkly, energetic, optimal health life ever. Right? Definitely. You learned that. Yeah. You saw that. Yeah. You saw it firsthand. You're part of it. So Gage and I would say, okay, I'd be like, he showed up for, for work, but it's not work. I'm like, we're making magic today. <laughs> and we have the serendipities. Can you, like, is there anything you want to say? No, just make your life clean. It's important. Clean food, clean house, clean yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. And here we are in the laundry room, folks. Clean it up. This is our last day, so who knows what's going to happen after this serious serendipities and magic. So stay tuned. We'll be seeing you very soon. And get your greens on. Cheers. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I want to say one more thing. I told Gage today, I go, that's it. I go, whatever I'm not seeing with my eyes, you see with your eyes. So if we were moving, I told Gage, if we're packing up a U-Haul, what do you want to put in it? Only the things that you really need. So pretend you're moving. That's a really good trick. If you open your front door and your house is for sale, what's it going to look like? You're not going to have clutter on top of your on top of your uh, on top of your washing machine. You're not going to have clutter when you enter the door. Your table's going to have a vase of flowers, and that's it. That's how we're doing it. So carry on, everybody. Detoxify and declutter.